Have you been reading all the news lately about how healthy it is to give up gluten and exclude it from your diet? Do you think that maybe giving up gluten will help you lose weight? I've been celiac for a long time. I gave up gluten about 10 years ago. So I've got a little bit of personal experience about what it's like to live a gluten-free life. I hope my videos are of use to you. And I hope this one will help clarify some of those ideas that are buzzing around at the moment about the giving up gluten will somehow help you lose weight. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. There are different reasons for giving up gluten. I gave up gluten because I had to because of my celiac disease. Some people give up gluten or they cut down on it because they find it gives them some kind of dietary discomfort, maybe wind, maybe bloating, other things maybe. Other, there's a trend at the moment as well where it's perceived as being healthier not to eat gluten containing products. I made this video because it's amazing how many times when I tell somebody I'm gluten free they say, oh, is that because you want to lose weight? And I go, no, do I need to lose weight? And then they always have to backtrack then because they're not going to say yes you do. Um, I say no, and I have to explain the reasons behind my disease and why I can't eat it. But it got me thinking. There is this assumption that if you eliminate gluten from your diet, you will somehow be on a healthier diet and you will lose weight. When I was younger, as a child, I used to eat masses. My mum used to say I had hollow legs. When I met my husband, I would eat twice as many calories as him easily every single day just to maintain my weight. I could put on weight if I ate a lot of sugary food and cakes and biscuits and sweets, things like that. But I had to eat a lot of calories to put weight on. Then I went gluten free. And I would like to say that well, I lost weight, but I didn't. What the reality is, if you've got celiac disease or you've got a problem digesting gluten, you cut that gluten out of your diet your digestive system gets better, it heals, and you start absorbing calories and nutrients. So I went from being very thin and anemic to slightly overweight, but not anemic, and a lot healthier. I've had to cut down the quantity of food I eat. I'm very careful now about my diet. I try and eat very healthily. We have more than the government recommended five fruit and veg a day. Um, I do look after my digestive system because it is damaged, it will always be damaged. So I take care of it. But the sad truth is, if you have a problem digesting gluten and you cut it out, unless you're very careful, you will put on weight. Now, having said that, if you do something like the Atkins diet, or the Dukan diet, where you are basically carb free, and you're just eating vegetables and meat, then yeah, you will lose weight. But those diets are so difficult to stick to, and I'm not sure how healthy they are anyway in the long run. If you replace your, so your bread, your pastries, your biscuits, your cakes, with alternatives that are gluten-free, you're not going to lose any weight at all. The gluten-free products are just as calorific, if not more so, than the standard products. So you're not going to lose weight that way either. I really do think that if you want to lose weight healthily and for the right reasons, you need to look at your diet as a whole and look at where your calories are coming from. Unfortunately, after many years of trying to control my diet, it all comes down to the calories in and calories out equation. If you think you have a gluten intolerance, or you're allergic to gluten, please don't go on a gluten-free diet until you've been tested by your doctor. I went gluten-free years ago, before I'd never even heard of celiac disease when I went gluten-free, and I wish now that I'd had the test, because now when I go to my doctor and I say, well, I'm celiac, they dismiss me as being celiac because they haven't got that diagnosis on paper. They will sort of condescendingly nod agreement that in fact I have problem digesting gluten but when I tell them my you know there's three other members in my family that have the diagnosis then they start to take it a bit more seriously 
if I had that official diagnosis, I would have had dietary help from the hospital. I would have had regular checkups to make sure that I was healthy. So it's really important if you think you have a problem with gluten, get tested. If you just want it because you think it might make you feel a little better, cut it out and see how you feel. There's no harm trying it, is there? If you want to lose weight, then sure, cut out some of the carbohydrate in your diet, which is very calorie heavy. But be careful of the calories going in. Just watch that you're not replacing those calories for real calories. Cutting out gluten just to lose weight. I can't see it as a healthy option if you're losing weight. And that is just my opinion, having lived with the diet and knowing how difficult it is to live a gluten-free life. I hope these videos help. Please leave the comments below and I'll see you again soon.